oh, this is a wheelbarrow Mark 8 Plus 2. So this year, you can see a live firing on this uh, wheelbarrow Mark 8. When uh, IED or bomb is found, oh. then only then the team will go down, respond to the situation, and we will <coughs> choose to deploy the robot. Okay, this is the this is the water, so-called the water cannon. We call it the water disruptor, right? Uh, whereby you can see uh, the water is filtered in with, inside this barrel, and there's a so-called cartridge at the back to set off the water. And uh, what happens is when we fire off the weapon, it generates a jet of water at a very high velocity to actually disrupt the whole circuit of the uh, bomb. Oh, so it's they fire water. Yes, correct. But it's a, at a very high speed, whereby if there's a circuit inside the bomb, right, it actually disrupt the whole circuit. So called disrupt is a so called break up the whole circuit, uh, and you will, you will not function at all. It can penetrate uh, metals up to two two to three mm. Thick. It can be brought as close as possible, but uh, for the for the on the robot itself, we have a safety standoff on the weapon so that we do not touch the bomb at all. It's controlled via the hand controller. This is a hand controller. All our EOD operators uh, went through training with this robot. So there is a we can see from the monitor, right? There's actually a, a cardboard here which signifies the how close we are to the bomb. And uh, through the training, we actually had um, ways to actually see on the screen itself and uh, see how close we are to the to the bomb. There's uh, four cameras on this thing. You can see up front there's a monitor camera, right? The aiming camera and two driving camera. Lights are also built in so we can operate in the in the dark. With the radio frequency, you can control up to 60 to 80, uh, 600 to 800 meters. But uh, with the cable mode, we can go to about 150 to 200. The scenario wise is actually in, uh, I believe you, you guys should saw a sequence, is in uh, Act 1, the D3 display. Yeah. All right, uh, after you see the uh, MUV, the EOD MUV park here, uh, the market will actually come out, all right, uh, disrupt the bomb, and uh, there will be a guy wearing a bamboo suit coming out to verify that the bomb is uh, so called disrupted, and he will give up a visual signal. Yeah, that's spark the end of our display there. So on the day itself, you're wearing this as well? Yes, I'm wearing this uh, on, the, uh, on the day itself. Okay, what, what, what is that? Uh, this is a bomb suit uh, where it protects the EOD operators from any fragments, blasts that will originate from the bomb. It, in the case that when the bombs go off... Okay, how much does it weigh? It weighs about uh, 30 kg. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay, uh, so I'll get... You guys have a look. Does it feel even hotter when you are in this suit? You wanna try? Uh, this is a brand new suit, you can try if you want. Okay, now. Let's try This is an IGP integrated groin protector. It protects your lower half. It looks like diapers. <coughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so, how many times have you practiced in this suit already? Uh, a lot of times. A lot of times. Yeah. It feels very heavy. It looks like it'll be hard to walk in. This is very heavy. It's kind of like having an encyclopedia on your head, balancing and yeah, a very heavy book on your head. Can you listen to my instruction? Eh? Yes. Right. First of all, I need to put your right hand through. Right hand through. Right hand through. Right hand through.